Guys, we're out here to introduce, whoa, Echo, <laughs> hello. All right, we're out here to introduce the plate tectonics unit. Uh, we can think of that plate tech, we can think of it in a way that plate tectonics actually starts along this location called the Mid-Ocean Ridge. Uh, the Mid-Ocean Ridge, and we're gonna center on the Mid-Atlantic part of the Mid-Ocean Ridge, which is this 46,000 mile long uh, volcanic mountain chain underneath the ocean waters, because you do realize we're mostly covered by water, 71% of us, and uh, where the seafloor is actually rifting apart. In fact, the part of the central part of the um, Mid Ocean Ridge is called the Rift Valley. So the seafloor is actually rifting apart there, but you might ask why? You know, we talked, Rita, in top, starting in topic two about convection currents. In topic five, we really get into it. What does he do? Everybody knows from three years old on. I think my, I think my grandson Harry knows. Heat rises. Heat rises. So where it's extra hot in the very balls of the earth, I like saying that word, okay, that means the heat is rising, causing convections. And where that heat is actually cooler, maybe instead of 2,000 degrees, maybe only 800 degrees, it begins to sink. So still hot, but relatively speaking, cooler than it was where it's rising. Now, one of the most famous places in the world to introduce this unit and to show this is the boundary. Now, don't laugh at my drawing of South America, okay? Actually, we'll do it over here. This is South America, okay? This is going to be South America. Can you guys see that? That's going to be South America. I know it looks obscene, but it's South America. All right, this is going to be Africa. Africa is a little bit more girthy. All right, there's Africa. <laughs> <laughs> well, these places are kind of funky looking. Okay, but hey, you check out a map. This is the way they look. Now, here is what's called the Mid-Ocean Ridge between them. Now, we don't know unless we have earthquakes and stuff like that, but South America and Africa are actually moving further apart. It's called C4 spreading. And this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Mid-Atlantic Ridge where it's dividing, one part going that way, another part going this way, and it's called divergent action. In fact, if you go to Iceland, Iceland's right up there, you can actually go to the Rift Valley in Iceland and look down and see magma party that island nation in half. Now, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna demonstrate this. We're gonna demonstrate this by using some fireworks. <laughs> this is where teaching is at its best. All right, so here's our fireworks. And we're gonna sort of tie them together or piece them together best we can here. There we go. There we go. We're going to overlap them a little bit so that they're almost on top of each other. Great thing, we have a very low wind day today. We'll just do one more and to really get the idea of what's happening here. And now, this is the area that's on fire. I mean, literally, if you were going down the Mid Atlantic Ridge, you would see fire coming out of the earth. This is the place where the heat is rising, the seafloor is spreading. We call it basalt because it's oceanic rock, and we're going to light this up. We're going to light this up, and we're going to see if we can get all parts lit, and we're going to see what happens and what it looks like at the mid-ocean ridge where this lava is actually coming out of the ground. Coming out of the ground, and when it hits the cool seawater, it begins to cool. You guys, this is, I'm telling you right now, this is how it really looks. Miles beneath the surface, an average of two miles beneath the surface, in the very bottom. Oh, here we go. Starting to happen. There it is. Look at this. Those things are called pillow lavas. I know they look like black turds. They're coming out of the ground, and as they come out of the ground, they lift up. They're filled with lava, so they're puffy. And then as they lose their gas and lava, they not lava, they lose their gas, they basically settle on each side of the ridge. Look at that one. Look at that. Unbelievable. Here it comes. It's settling. It's going down on each side of the ridge. What color is it? It's black. Which color is basalt? Black, because it's mafic. It's made up of iron and magnesium, mostly iron, coming out. And as it settles, as it lays down, it forms the newest rock on our planet. Look at that. As those pillow lavas settle down on top of the ground. This is happening, guys, right now as I speak at the ocean floor in real life. The only difference is it comes out equally on both sides of the ridge. Check this out. Almost done. Wow, that's a long one. <laughs> Look at that. 
These pillows are unbelievable. These are called pillow lavas. So basically, here it is. Here we have these pillow lavas. They're laid flat, and they form the newest rock on the planet. So question on your exam. What happens to the age of bedrock as you go along the seafloor from Africa to South America? The newest rock is forming at the ridge today. So the age gets newer, and then it gets older. The newest rock at the ridge, showing the place where seafloor is starting, showing the very, the, the very essence of plate tectonics in action. We'll see more upstairs.